finalists, and three of these students will progress to the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair, where they will represent BCA against students from all over the globe. Congratulations to all of these chosen, and good luck in the final BCA selection round. Yesterday was BCA's Green Ribbon Day. Throughout the school day, each grade was individually taken out of certain classes to both look at the Black Poster Project and attend an alumni and recovery assembly. The Black Poster Project honored several who have sadly lost their lives due to addiction. Alumni and Recovery offered touching stories on addiction, along with its effects. Overall, Green Ribbon Day raised awareness on the stigma attached to substance abuse. Tonight, BCA Spectrum will be holding their first ever lip sync extravaganza. At this event, a number of BCA students will be competing in a series of lip sync competitions, compete with makeup and costume design from fellow students, and students can attend the event for free and there will also be food and concessions to purchase. It's sure to be exciting. For more information, here's Matt Diomedes. Hi Matt, thank you so much for doing this interview today. Of course, I'm glad to be here. First of all, how did BCA Spectrum come up with the idea of the lip sync extravaganza? Yeah, so there was one day where we were just having a meeting and we were talking about RuPaul and the lip sync competitions that he hosts in his show and somebody kind of made an offhanded suggestion that we just have our own version and it just took off from there. What are a few selling points that you would like to share with those who are watching that may be interested in attending tonight? Yeah, so the performances, at least based on what I've seen, are all very fun and very talented. So you'll definitely get a lot of entertainment from them. And there's going to be other events. So even if you're not performing in a lip sync, you're going to have a lot of activities to participate in. And as mentioned earlier, the event is free, so you don't have to pay anything to just come and have fun. For everyone in BCA Spectrum, what has the energy been like as the event has gone closer and closer? So there's definitely been a little bit of nerves, but mostly excitement. Everybody's been trying to just enjoy it and not really stress over it. And finally, what can we expect from those who are performing tonight? So you're going to be expecting a lot of laughter and just overall a lot of fun. Thank you so much, Matt, for this interview. We can't wait to both he see and hear how the competition goes. Of course. Thank you. This week, many of our students attended the DECA State Competition in Atlantic City. A total of 58 BCA students succeeded in their categories and qualified to be finalists. These students will progress to nationals in April in Anaheim, California. One Axe auditions will be held next Monday and Tuesday. One Axe is an annual theater festival where students perform a series of One Act plays directed by our very own theater seniors. If you're interested in playing an award-winning hot dog eater, an anxious cricket, or death itself, show up and audition. Reach out to Mr. Kaplan for more details. Two Visual Academy sophomores were selected in the C-SPAN Student Cam competition to compete for fan favorite video. The two students, Heyman Moon and Melanie Shim, worked for months to create a short documentary on the fast fashion industry titled Footprint by Fabric. You can help them by voting for their video once each day. Be sure to check Outlook for a daily email from Mr. Lang with complete details on how to vote. Voting ends on Sunday, so act quick and support our talented Academy students. Speaking of competitions, a group of culinary students participating in New Jersey's Pro Start competition, competing in categories in culinary arts and management. These students did very well in the competition, placing second place. Congratulations to those who participated. Although it's been nearly a month since the Valentine's Day assembly, many of us are still in awe over the unforgettable performances. Students sang and played a variety of songs within this, theme's, this year's theme, Motown and I think it's safe to say that their renditions of these pieces were quite impressive. The opening act of the assembly featuring Alex Cafe and Peace Egan was a standout act for many. Here to tell us more about the process behind the assembly is none other than Alex and Peace. Hi Alex and Peace, how are you both doing today? Good, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for doing this interview. So was this a performance that you guys had already planned or was it something that just came about after you heard about the theme of the assembly? Uh, I think we decided that we would maybe perform together after last year's junior cabaret where um, she played guitar while I sang last year and we thought that maybe we would do something like that again but we ultimately decided that it'd be more fun if we both sang together and that's pretty much why we figured that out. Yeah, when we got the uh, theme of Motown we thought, oh maybe I could play guitar and he'll just sing or we'll both sing but we ended up wanting to do a duet together. Let's take a look at a clip of that performance.
inspired you to decide to perform if I could build my whole world around you? Um, so we were initially thinking of doing Ain't No Mountain High Enough uh, by Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell as well. Um, but we practiced it a little bit and both kind of decided it was too hard for our vocal ranges. Um, so so. We, were, we were driving home one day and we decided that we would listen to the entire album where that song was and we just kept listening and listening and that song started playing and we were like, hmm. That's not, that's not it, a good song It sounded good for us, yeah. It sounded like a good song to sing, and, you know, it just went started from there, and that's how we decided. Um, and how much preparation goes into planning a performance for a BCA assembly? Um, so for our group, we had us two and then four other people in our band. Um, so we decided that we would go through lunch periods and meet together during sixth period and uh, take time out of our schedule to practice all together. Yeah, we had a hiccup with our pianist, Ty, he got COVID and he wasn't there for a lot of rehearsals, so it was a bit of a scramble right at the end to just throw him right into the act, but he did really well. He just kind of learned it just like that, and we were able to put that uh, assembly on, or that performance on its feet. <laughs> and um, what's your favorite part about performing in a BCA assembly? I guess, I guess one of the best parts is that all the people that you're performing for are people that you're going to see in the school, and a lot of the time after the performance, people that you don't normally talk to are like, oh, that was a great job. And, that's something that's really fun, I think, and just being able to perform for, for people that you know is one of the best parts. Yeah, um, I really like that it's a free thing that your friends can come and see because a lot of the time if it's after school or like very expensive, um, people will be too busy or can't go to it. Um, but the fact that they work it into our school day is really nice so your friends can see your hard work. Um, Alex, you're one of the rare BCA students that have performed in four Valentine's Day assemblies. Is there anything specific about this assembly that kept making you want to perform in it? Um, I mean, I love performing for other people. I love just showing people what I can do. And also, when I was younger in uh, middle school and elementary school, I always used to do school talent shows and stuff like that. And going into high school, I, I kind of felt like my years my year would be incomplete if I didn't do some sort of performance like this. And Valentine's Day was where I could perform. So, uh, Peace, you're going to be a senior next year. Can we expect a performance in 2025? Um. Probably. I'd like to be in the Valentine's Day Assembly again. I thought it was really fun and um, it was fun to collaborate with other people for uh, putting on performance for the school. So I don't know if I'll be singing or maybe playing guitar, but I'd like to be in it again next year. Either way, sounds great. Thank you both so much for this interview. Thank you. This has been Night Vision, your go-to television show for BCA news, highlights, and more. I'm Jack. And I'm Samantha. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we hope to see you next Friday here on Night Vision.